Oh, this is easy. I never thought it'd be as easy as all this. When oh, I'm how, about, how about a question like this? How do we deal with banks? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, you see, you have to understand, and any bankers here at all, God bless you. <laughs> banks are crooked. <coughs> they are crooks. It should be illegal what they do. Fractional banking ought to be illegal. I'm not the first one that said that. I think I've got a quote here sometime, somewhere that might... Uh, where did I stick? Here we are. Thomas Jefferson said this in 1802. And this is Thomas Jefferson. He said, I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. If the American people ever allow private banks to control the issue of their currency, first by inflation, then by deflation, the banks and corporations will grow up around the banks, will deprive the people of all property until their children wake up homeless on the continents that their fathers conquered. Now, fractional banking is very simple. And I'm using round figures, so someone don't tell me you're, you're not exactly right. No, I'm not exactly right, I'm using round figures, but they're not rubbery figures, they're round figures. In our country and in most Western democracies that are successful, out of every 250 people, there's only one person in that 250 that is debt free and has real money. Now that person that is debt free, the one in 250, takes 100,000, he puts it in the bank. They give him an interest rate on that uh, 100,000, then they let it out at a slightly higher interest rate, just a little bit more. And they still have enough money to buy their buildings, their motor cars, their security, their insurance, pay their staff, and lend to the other 249 people. How do they do it? It's called fractional banking. They can get $100,000 and by delaying checks, they can massage it into $3 million and they get the interest on $3 million, not the 100000 if you got it. Now, when we had the Y2K, uh, people started drawing money out of the bank like crazy, like a lot of them are doing it now. And most countries, and at the time, America only had 1.5% of currency in the whole nation with the money flowing around, only one and a half percent was in real currency. So when the Y2K came and people started drawing money out of the bank, then America put on, I think, eight new printing presses and went in 24 hours a day because the banks were running out of money and then, of course, nothing happened. And then they had all this cash that was sitting around the place. Then, of course, they had uh, uh, their their financial advisors say, you've got to get this money out, you've got to get it out. You've got to. So they started lending to people who had never paid back a loan in their life, didn't understand what they were doing, but the banks were greedy and the people were greedy too. Don't, don't mistake, it wasn't just the banks. And we've got this debacle we've got at the moment. 